Daryl Mitchell's more than six hour 142 and a speedy 69 from Ben Cox have given Worcestershire a chance of a victory at the Aegeus Bowl in spite of yet more bad weather on the penultimate day of the LV County Championship match with Hampshire. Play didn't get underway until four o'clock after some miserable weather hit the south and Colin Munro was soon trying to make up for lost time as he belted Sean Irvin for an early six. Worcestershire started the day one run behind their hosts on 221 for three and so we're now looking to get as far ahead as possible as quickly as possible. Mitchell was also eyeing up 100 after he'd started the day on 80 and not which had held this innings together. Munro was almost looking to play a shot aboard and fell for 29 with a nick off Danny Briggs to Lewis McManus who'd replaced Adam Wheater behind the stumps after he'd damaged a finger. That brought in first class debutant Joe Clark who only celebrated his 19th birthday last week. He got his career off the mark with this boundary. And he was at the non-striker's end when Mitchell came down the pitch to launch Briggs over the top for his 11th four to take him to three figures for the 20th time in his first-class career. This one had used up 248 deliveries and ensured that his side was the only one of the two that could possibly win this game from here. Clark fell for six in Briggs' next over, edging a cut behind, but by now Worcestershire was 67 runs ahead on 289 for five. As well as wanted to establish as big a lead as possible, Worcestershire also knew the importance of bonus points and so Cox, who has been the most consistent of all his side's batsmen this year, came in to pick up the scoring rate and that was just what he was able to do with some crunching cricket shots, the kind of which he's been producing all season long. Mitchell, who'd spent five hours in making his ton, also now played some attractive strokes. There was no time to waste as far as his side was concerned. They were trying to get to 400 in time to be able to have a few overs at the Hampshire batsmen before the close of this shortened day. Cox is by some distance the leading keeper batsman in the country this summer and this shot took him to his third score of 50 or more this season. He's now passed 400 championship runs too in 10 innings and he has an average in the 50s. More boundaries followed as these two raced their partnership along to 114. The run's coming in 19 overs with Mitchell ending on 142 of 303 balls and Cox 69 of 65 as a declaration came late in the day with Worcestershire on 403 for 5, giving them maximum batting points while reducing their host to 1 for their bowling. Worcestershire also had a lead of 181 and in the three overs that remained, Jimmy Adams and Liam Dawson knocked off one of those runs. So there is more work for Hampshire to do on the last day, especially with both Wheater and Will Smith struggling with finger injuries.